My name is Meredith West, and I'm a Chancellor's Professor here at IU in two departments, in the Biology Department and in the Psychological and Brain Sciences Department. We look at learning, in particular social learning, and even more specifically than that, we look at learning in birds and how birds learn from one another. And the behavior that we look at in most detail is bird song. We picked a very particular species that we wanted to study, which is the brown-headed cowbird. The female birds lay their eggs in the nests of other species. So no cowbird is ever raised by another cowbird. It's always raised by a foster species. What people may not realize is that the birds have to learn that particular song or melody that they're singing, that if they don't get to hear members of their own species sing, they don't sing a species typical song. So a cardinal that never gets to hear another cardinal doesn't sound like a cardinal. And so it all depends on learning. They have to learn how to congregate with birds of their own kind, to listen to what the other birds are doing and to, to imitate the sounds the birds are doing and also to what we call improvise. Uh, same as a jazz musician would know a, uh, a melody but is going to take off on his own riff. So the interesting thing from our point of view was, well, how does a cowbird learn to be a cowbird if it's always around a sparrow or a cardinal or some other species? Thirty years ago, my husband and I started doing this research on asking this question about how they learn and who they have to learn from. And at the time, people really didn't think they probably learned very much at all. They thought it was innate, sort of just a hardwired behavior that these birds had. But what we've learned or what we've spent 30 years doing is showing that it's not hardwired, that there's a tremendous amount of flexibility and plasticity to their learning. In DYD, in DYD return, there's a female right off to his left who is paying attention to their singing. In BNB, singing to MDYG, who just left, and MDYG followed the female. Females don't sing, so they don't respond to a male by any kind of vocalization. But they, they do use their wing movements, so that a male will sing a song and a female will flick her wing out and bring it back in very, very quickly. What we're going to be looking at is um, female cowbirds who cannot sing, how they use visual gesture to shape male social behavior. And what this is all about is learning how to court. This male sings and she kind of flips her wings back. Now this is a really obvious wing stroke. And so when she does give a wing stroke, he gets very excited. He kind of levitates off the perch and moves in and tries to get in as close as he can to her and to sing as, as close as possible. Uh, and what he does then is he keeps that song that got the wing struck in his repertoire and he may drop other songs that he sang that morning that didn't work. And so she essentially is what she's doing is she's shaping his song by giving him reinforcements. Culture is defined as behaviors that are passed on from one generation to another by learning. And that is what is going on in the cowbirds. But we also learned that the males could learn to change their song, even though he never heard it, and even though the female had never sung it, um, just by the shaping process of taking little elements of the song and giving reinforcement for that, um, she managed to get him to sing the kind of song she liked.